Welcome to Sacramento and Company. It's about home, food, and community. It's about style, entertainment, it's about living. We're Sacramento and Company. Well, you know, sometimes it takes just one person to make an impact. And in our series, Get Inspired, we introduce you to do those individuals who are inspired to do what they can to help others. Robin Buckley is a photographer who will be traveling next week with a group of business professionals to New Orleans to help with the continued relief efforts there. And she's here this morning to tell us all about it. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So first of all, what inspired you to take this trip? Well, I belong to a group of business people around the country. And uh, we were actually inspired by Oprah Winfrey's The Big Give. I love that show. Yes. I love that show. It airs on News 10 on Sunday yes, night. Yes, absolutely. It's impossible not to be inspired by Oprah. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> right? one of those things that goes to show that it's not just money that, you know, you, you, it takes less than money to make a difference in somebody's life. And that's Sometimes what we chose to do. It. A time, yes. It so. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a place that's been under duress for three years, almost three years now. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's a place that needs assistance. It's an American community. Now, do all of these people, these business people that you're, that you're associated with, are they part of the Braveheart Foundation? Yes, absolutely. What is that? Braveheart Foundation, it was spearheaded by Dr. Ellie Drake. She's a speaker and an author that mentors business people. And we, we collectively joined Braveheart uh, foundation to change things, make the world a better place here and there, whatever we can. And this is this is our project at the moment. Now, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, that's fine. Uh, you mentioned that it's been almost three years since the storm, and I think a lot of people, unless they have a personal connection with somebody in New Orleans, may have kind of forgotten or, or may think that it's all fixed and better by now, but that's not necessarily the case. Talk to us a little bit about what the people in New Orleans are still facing and how you're going to be able to help them. Exactly. Well, there's a, there's a project in New Orleans called the St. Bernard uh, Project. They're assisting people in the St. Bernard Parish, which is a section of New Orleans that was hit 100% of the homes devastated. So what you have is you have a working class community with, uh, before the storm, of less than 4% unemployment rate. Uh, most of the people in the community own their homes. And now they're living in FEMA trailers and tents. And uh, the government is not coming through with the funding to repair these homes. So the St. Bernard Project is actually uh, doing what they can to gather volunteers. They, they were able to, to, uh, to make sure that a house gets done for $10,000. How is that possible? $10,000? Well, it sounds crazy, but it's all volunteers. People from around the country, like myself and my group of Braveheart people, who come and assist. And then the materials that they need, you know, are, are given at, at greatly reduced... Or donated. Exactly. So people are giving their time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how long will you actually be there in New Orleans? And are you going to be hammer and nail building a house? Absolutely. Absolutely. The group that I'm going with, there's 30 of us. We're leaving on April 10th. We'll be there for four days. And we're going to uh, actually get in there and help the St. Bernard Project build these homes. We're going to meet the volunteers. Four yes. days is not a long time to build a home. No, be a it's busy not. Lady. It's not. But, they, but their volunteers keep coming in and coming in. And, and collectively, we, we put it together. Now, you're a photographer. Do you plan on uh, taking any photos while you're there of the efforts? Yes, I, I will. And the efforts are actually going to be filmed. Uh, the, uh, the project will air on, the, on an Internet uh, show. It's uh, definitely something that's, that's uh, getting a lot of attention because we are inspired to, to make a difference when everyone else seems to have forgotten about that and they're moving on. And, 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 and that is a community that has been forgotten. How do you personally feel about doing this? I mean, you're taking four days out of your life, and I know you've got a busy schedule and a career of your own, and you're going with other business people, um, and four days can be a lot of time to carve out. Why, how do you feel about going out there? Well, you know, Kristen, individually, it's very difficult to make a difference, but collectively, we absolutely can. And if you don't get in, in tune with the collective consciousness, you know, nothing happens. Wow. Now, Robin, you were saying before the show that you haven't been there since right before the hurricane. What do you expect to see and experience while you're there? Well, I was actually in Florida when Katrina came through Florida. So I did experience Katrina, not anything like they got it in New Orleans. But, right. uh, you know, I, 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 
I know what to expect because I know that there are many, 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 many homes that are still gutted and waiting to be rebuilt. And these families, and there's, you know, five, six, seven people in a family living in a FEMA trailer or a tent. You know, it's, it's a very stressful situation for these hardworking Americans. Yeah. And I would imagine a lot of the help that they initially received has kind of run out. People have sort of forgotten or thought that they, they've already rebuilt. What about people here? How can they help out with maybe locally on the local level and giving some funds or some time? Well, you know, my group, we raised $100,000 in less than 24 hours. Wow. We just got on How'd the phone. How'd you do that? Just, just got, got it done. Gosh, that's just, impressive. As a group, we collectively went out and did it. Now, that's 10 homes. Now, we have time between now and the time we leave. Sure. So some of us said, well, let's go into our communities and bring the heart and the compassion of our community with us to New Orleans when we go. So uh, that's, that's what I'm doing. So we just showed a uh, phone number on the screen, and is that where people want to contact you? There they it can, is again. Yes, they can contact me at that phone number or donate to inspiredbythebiggive.com. Uh, we're having a couple of fundraisers in Nevada County this weekend, so that should be fun. You can come out and participate in that. Okay, and can people call the phone number there for the information on the fundraisers? Absolutely. Okay, Robin, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, and um, you need to come back on the show afterwards. Bring and, those and, pictures. Yeah, bring those pictures and tell us about your experience. I will be happy to. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Well,